Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Do you know why doesn't God forgive the fallen angels and Satan? This profound question touches on deep theological issues involving free will, divine justice, and the nature of sin. In today's discussion, we'll explore these topics by examining Satan's rebellion, the unique nature of angels, and the reasons why their sins are considered unforgivable. We'll also delve into the implications of divine justice and the concept of repentance, which is central to human salvation, but not applicable to fallen angels. Stay with us until the end to gain a clearer understanding of these complex and often puzzling aspects of faith. Your journey through these insights might illuminate new perspectives and deepen your appreciation of the profound mysteries of divine. The nature of Satan's rebellion created good, choosing evil. If Satan was created entirely good by God, how did he commit a sinful act? Imagine creating a perfectly functional robot designed to do good things. One day the robot does something terrible and you wonder how this could happen if it was made perfectly. This is the dilemma with Satan. How does a perfectly created angel choose to do evil? The nature of Satan's rebellion created good, choosing though Satan was created good, he had free will. This free will allowed him to make decisions independently, including the choice to rebel. It is not a flaw in God's creation, but part of the freedom given to all intelligent beings. Though Lucifer's original state before his rebellion and fall, Satan, known as Lucifer, had a significantly different nature. Lucifer was considered a powerful and beautiful angel. The name Lucifer means light bearer or morning star, indicating his original luminous and joyful nature. Lucifer held a high position in heaven, being one of the cherubim, an angel generally associated with direct service to God. Lucifer's original Ezekiel 28.12-15 describes a figure often associated with Lucifer, you were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorned you. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Ezekiel 28, these scriptures highlight Lucifer's beauty, wisdom, and high status before his fall. Despite his initial perfection, sin and evil were found in him. Traditionally, this sin is interpreted as pride and the desire to be equal or superior to God. Lucifer's fall emphasizes the concept of free will in the Bible. Despite being created perfect and placed in a position of honor, he chose to rebel against God. This choice reflects the exercise of free will, fundamental to all intelligent beings created by God, including angels. These scriptures highlight Lucifer's beauty, wisdom, and high step. The nature of angels and their irrevocable decision. Angels understanding and decision-making angels, unlike humans, fully understand their actions and their consequences. When Lucifer and his followers rebelled, they did so with full awareness. This irrevocable decision, made with complete knowledge, is a key reason why their sins cannot be forgiven. The sin of Lucifer and the fallen angels does not result from ignorance or weakness, but from a deliberate and conscious rebellion against God. It is seen as a definitive departure from the Creator. Unlike human sin which often arises from ignorance or weakness and can be forgiven, the sin of the fallen angels is unforgivable in the context of divine justice. The nature of angels and their irrevocable decision. Angels understand spiritual nature of angels. Angels are spiritual beings created by God, each with unique functions and characteristics. They are in the presence of God and serve Him directly. Unlike humans who are physical and spiritual beings, angels are purely spiritual. This spiritual nature allows them to exist in God's presence and fulfill their roles as messengers and servants. Spiritual 
Angels possess greater knowledge and wisdom than humans but are not omniscient like God. Their decisions are made with complete understanding of their actions and consequences. When they chose to rebel, it was a deliberate, fully informed choice. This complete and immediate understanding makes their rebellion permanent and final. Angels possess greater knowledge and wisdom than humans. The incapability of repentance and divine justice, the finality of the angel's choice. Why can't Satan and the fallen angels repent and be forgiven? Imagine a highly experienced professional, such as a judge or senior executive, who fully understands the laws and ethical standards of their profession. This person not only knows the rules but also the consequences of breaking them. Now imagine this person deliberately decides to break a significant law or ethical standard. Fully aware of the gravity and consequences of their actions. This example is similar to the behavior of fallen angels. They made their choices with full understanding of what they were doing without confusion or misunderstanding. The incapability of repentance and divine justice, the final. The inability of fallen angels to repent is also linked to the concept of divine justice. God, being just, holds beings accountable according to their knowledge and understanding. The finality of the angel's decision, made with full awareness, requires a different response than that given to human sin. For the fallen angels, judgment is final, as seen in passages like Matthew 5.41, then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the divine justice and human redemption. Divine justice is a fundamental attribute of God, ensuring that good is rewarded and evil is punished. The fate of fallen angels underscores God's justice, reflecting the belief that there are consequences for actions especially for beings who knowingly and willingly oppose God. The eternal fire mentioned in the Bible is often interpreted as a state of eternal separation from God and His goodness. It is a destiny reserved for Satan, his angels, and those who reject God's offer of salvation. Divine justice and human. The narrative of redemption is centered on Jesus Christ and explicitly directed towards humanity. Humans, unlike angels, sin without complete knowledge and have the capacity for genuine repentance and change. This distinction is crucial to understanding why redemption is offered to humans, but not to fallen angels. The narrative of redemption. Conclusion Satan's rebellion and the issues it raises about free will, sin and forgiveness are profound. Satan's decision to rebel was a fully informed and deliberate choice against God, making it unforgivable. This contrasts with human sin, where ignorance, weakness and potential for growth and change allow for repentance and forgiveness. The lack of a second chance for Satan emphasizes the severity and finality of his rebellion. While these puzzles may remain partly unsolved, they point to the complexities of free will, divine justice, and the nature of sin. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the complex and thought-provoking topic of why God doesn't forgive the fallen angels and Satan. We've explored the nature of Satan's rebellion, the unique characteristics of angels, and the profound implications of divine justice and free will. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Understanding these aspects of faith can be challenging, but it also deepens our appreciation of God's wisdom, justice, and mercy. Remember, while the fallen angels made a fully informed and deliberate choice to rebel, humans are given the opportunity to repent and seek forgiveness, highlighting the profound love and grace extended to us. Understanding these aspects if you found this discussion valuable, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to explore and illuminate more aspects of faith. Together, we can expand our understanding and grow in our spiritual journey. Thank you for being here and may God bless you.